Hey everyone, welcome to this new video. I'll be giving a quick guide to John F. Kennedy International Airport, so hopefully you all can have a seamless experience. First and foremost, all terminals are connected by air train, which is free if traveling within airport grounds, but is $5 when entering and exiting the train at Jamaica and Howard Beach stations. The next train Let's kick this guide off with Terminal 1, which includes the following airlines. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read the whole list. Terminal 1 is pretty boring if you ask me, so let's move on to Terminal 2. Terminal 2 is exclusively operated by Delta Airlines. The general rule of thumb is international and transcontinental, meaning LAX, SFO, and SEA services are out of T4, while all other flights are out of T2. But it is always best to double check which terminal you're flying out of. If you're flying internationally on a carrier not mentioned yet, the odds that you're flying out of T4 are pretty high. Delta operates a ton of flights out of Terminal 4, and a few other airlines also use this terminal. There are no shops on the departure level, but there are plenty of options post-security. Here's a pro tip for you all. When you get to the airport, depending on the time of day, it might be worthwhile getting off for your flight at arrivals, or getting in the car after your flight from departures, because 9 out of 10 times, one of the levels will be much busier than the other. Going against the norm could save you time. After all, the only thing keeping you from the other level is usually a staircase, or even better, an escalator. This terminal is pretty much always bustling. Terminal 5 is my absolute favorite terminal. It is what JetBlue calls home, but a few of its partners, including TAP, Aer Lingus, and Hawaiian, also operate out of here. What makes T5 so efficient is the absence of lines anywhere. I personally think having kiosks everywhere in the shape of a Y is genius and lets people check in with ease. New York City public transit buses also leave from the ground level of this terminal. Terminal 7 is an interesting case, as it is the only terminal operated on US soil by a foreign carrier, that being British Airways. There are other airlines that fly out of this terminal, including, but not limited to, Iberia, Alaska Airlines, and Iceland Air. However, more often than not, you will see a line of BA aircraft lined up for their respective evening departures. Qatar Airways' morning flight also arrives and departs from this terminal. Terminal 8 also houses many airlines. Hmm. Just kidding. T8 is the home of American and a few of its One World partners. Qatar Airways' evening flight arrives and departs from this terminal. 
Why does its morning flight depart from Terminal 7 and its evening flight depart from Terminal 8 is beyond me. But regardless, by 2022, British Airways will come over to Terminal 8 once the expansion is complete with Terminal 7 being demolished and Terminal 5 being extended. Now before I end this video off, I'd like to share one last secret about how to save some quick money. Rather than getting on a taxi from the airport, take the air train towards Howard Beach and get off at Lefferts Boulevard. Request an Uber from this location and you'll find that it often saves you 10 to $15. Remember that the air train ride to Lefferts Boulevard is completely free. If you found this guide to be helpful, please do consider subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video.